Shalom, all praise is due to Yahawah Bahashem, Yahawah Shai, Bahashem Racha Kwadash. The bond says the elect apostle orders a great most known of Ruel. Shalom to like I dead, do spoke sincerity and truth, and not for vain glory in season out of season. I just want to bring a quick show. Um a Baratazai, you brothers be edified. Um yeah, so I just want to um read this scripture right here. This is Psalm, Psalms two and one. It says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? You know, and that's what people are doing, man. You know, you know, the heathens are raging and the people are imagining a vain thing. Okay. All right. You know, the so-called white man, you know, he believes that he's going to defeat Yahweh Shai and Michael Archangels and the other angels and other chariots when Yahweh Shai makes his second coming. Okay, you know, he believes that his rulership is going to be forever. You know, so, you know, that's, he's imagining a vain thing. And when I say the so-called white man, what's the white man's biblical name? So-called white man's biblical name? Esau. Edom. Okay. That's his biblical name, you know. And, um. You know, they're imagining that they're going to be able to have their rulership forever by, you know, giving people the game changer and the MOTB. You know, they imagine that they can be the most high by doing so, you know. And the heathens are imagining what? That they're going to be the next rulers of the earth. You know. That they're going to. Be the next ones up. You know. Alright. Like the Arabs. They believe they're going to be the next rulers. After the so-called white man goes down. Because these heathen nations know that the so-called white man is going down. Okay. Alright. Then you have the so-called Chinese. They believe they're going to be the next rulers of the earth. You know. And it's going to be none of them. Okay. So uh, it says, the kings of the earth, second verse, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. You know, they have these summit meetings. You know, and they speak about a lot of things, but they speak about the nation of Israel, man. Mainly the elect of the nation of Israel, the prophets of the Lord. Okay. All right. You know, these kings of the earth. You know, the so-called white man and their various European nations, you know, and uh, so-called white American man. You know, these Arabs, these East Indians, you know, because they're all in it together. They're all in it together against the nation of Israel. You know, the, the kings of the earth set themselves, the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed saying, you know. So, you know, they're against Yahweh and they're against the anointed, which are the prophets of the Lord, man. Okay. Of the nation of Israel. Okay. Which are so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right. You know, this is what these heathen nations do, you know. But Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is going to bring them all down. He's going to bring them all down. Okay. All right. He's going to bring them all down. All right. Um, let, me, let me see if I can find the scripture. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to the scripture. First Corinthians, um, excuse me. First Corinthians 15 and 24. Okay. Twenty-four. All right. Okay. <clears throat> First Corinthians fifteen and twenty-four. It says, "Then cometh the end, when he shall 
have delivered up the kingdom of Yahweh, even the father. When he, who's the he, the he is Yahweh Shai, he, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. You know, so that's what's going to happen. Yahweh through Hashem, through Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to bring down all authority, all rule, all authority and power of these heathen nations, man. You know? So, you know, these, these, these heathens, you know, they're raging. The people who was imagining a vain thing, man. They're imagining a vain thing, you know? Yahweh Shai, this is his kingdom. He's coming to receive his kingdom. He's coming to take his kingdom. Okay? All right? And he's going to put down all the authority, all rule, all power. Yahweh Shai. Okay? And we all know the color of whom the world calls Christ. Which I even hate saying that name, Christ. We know he's from the tribe of Judah. Hebrews 7 and 14. But it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Okay? Alright? And who's Judah? Jeremiah 14 and 2. Judah mourneth and the gates there of language. They are black unto the ground. Okay? Alright? So if Yahweh Shai would be walking in the earth today, it would be seen as a so-called black man. Okay. All right. Let me make sure I got that right. You know saying with Hebrews seven and fourteen. Let's make sure that's the right scripture. All right. Hebrews seven and fourteen. Hebrews 7 and 14. Okay. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, sprang out of Judah, which, which would be the so-called black man who came over here on cargo slave ships, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Okay. So, you know, you know, these heathen nations, man, you know, they jumping up and down, talking about they're going to be the next rulers of the earth, you know, because they got nuclear missiles or, and, or they, they, they're good financially. You know, they see America uh, sinking, you know, so they believe that they got next, <laughs> you know, as a the Zabak movement, you know, pre Zabak, you know, you know, you know, we got next. You know, as his is a uh, uh, term that he would say. OK. OK. So let's let's go to. um, Yeah. And you see the nations, man, they, they're going to lose all that they got, man. China, they're going to lose everything. The Arabs, they're going to lose everything. OK. All these heathen nations going to lose whatever they got. They're going to lose it, man. They're going into slavery under the nation, under Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai and the nation of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. All right. So let's go to, uh, let's go to, let's go to Job 20 and 7. Okay. Job 20 and 7. All right. So 20 and 7. All right. It says, it says, uh, I'll start at 5, Job 20 and 5. No, I'll start at 4. All right, Job 20 and 4. I'll start at 4. 
Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth? That the triumphing of the wicked, which is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, is short. So the triumphing of the wicked is short. You know, so Esau, I mean, what? He's been in, in rulership for what? Uh, just about, what, 500 years almost? You know? That's only half of a day. That's not even a full day. Remember, one day unto Yahweh is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. That's not even a full day Esau has been ruined. And his time is going to be cut short. Okay? He's not going to rule forever. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since, the, since man was placed upon earth? Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellence Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? You see, so it's going to come a point in time that it's going to be the Israelites are going to be in the kingdom. Yes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you know. Ruling over the other heathen nations, ruling over the so-called white man, which is another heathen nation. And he ain't going to be around. You know? You know, like Elder Yashawamba said, <laughs> you're going to wake up in the kingdom and, and Esau just ain't going to be there no more, man. You know? Because after a certain, minute, certain amount of time, he's going to be mass exterminated off of the face of the earth. Obadiah. Uh, first chapter of Obadiah 1 and 18. I believe it's, yeah, I believe it's Obadiah 1 and 18. But you could read the, uh, read Obadiah. All right. It's in the book of Obadiah. And it'll tell you. You know. So, you know, Esau, man, is just <laughs> so-called white man, you know. Your time is up. And you heathen nations. Okay. Uh, let me go to. Uh, I mean, you know, the heathen nations still going to be around, you know. But Esau, so-called white man, is not going to be around after a certain period of time. Okay. Uh, let me go to. Go to Psalm. Psalm 68 and 16. You know, because it ain't just Esau, as you heathen nations too. So 68 and 16. Why? Uh, let me see if I can move this up. Yeah. Why leap ye, ye high hills? The high hills is talking about these governments. Hills represents governments. Mountains represents governments. Why leap ye, ye high hills? You know, these governments of these heathen nations. You know, they believe that they're going to be the next rulers. You know, the Arab, so-called Chinese, so forth. This is the hill which Yahweh desireth to dwell in. Yea, the, yea, the Lord Yahweh will dwell in it forever. Okay. And that's Israel. That's the nation of Israel. Okay. All right. That's who's going to be in the kingdom ruling forever. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so, you know, these heathen nations, man, they, you know, they, they, they really believe that they, they got next, man. You know, but that's not the case. Uh, let me go to one more scripture. Isaiah 14 and 1. To show you who got next. All right. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. Who's going to be ruling in the kingdom? All right. This is a future prophecy that yet has come to pass. 
Okay, this 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 prophecy has yet to come to pass, man. This this this, this prophecy hasn't come to pass yet. Soon, but not yet. Okay, Isaiah fourteen and one. Okay, for Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and yet, excuse me, for Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Okay? So, you know, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy on Jacob and Israel, man. Which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the... In the land of Yahweh, which is Israel, for servants and handmaids. So, you know, these heathens are going to be servants and handmaids, slaves to the nation of Israel. You too, so-called white man, okay? And they shall take them captives, who captives they were. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right? That's what the scriptures say. Who led you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into captivity? The so-called white man, along with the other heathen nations. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So I don't see Ishmael in there, which are these Arabs. I don't see Moab in there, which are these so-called Chinese. I don't see Esau in there, which is the so-called white man. I see <laughs> Jacob and Israel you know for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and the world's going to find out who Yahweh Bahashem, Bahashem Yahweh is and they're going to find out who the Lord's chosen people are too man okay alright so you know they're imagining vain things man they're raging but it's going to come to naught Okay, by the power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. With that, Shalom.